Virginia. But prior to the national anthem, would you please bow your head for the invocation to be given this evening by Graham High School Bible Club member, Ms. Tara Larry. showing 
school G-men have won the toss in tonight's game. They've elected to receive. And kicking off for the Bluefield Beavers will be Brian Broyles. And he'll be kicking off to the lights of Billy Banks. Also, Brent Surface will be back there deep for the Graham High School G-men. As well as Greg Ridley, who last year, Danny, was playing for these very, very same Bluefield Beavers. I do believe he feels strange tonight, Guess What do you think? Oh, I'm sure he does. There's no question about it. Beautiful night for football. Country 106 is WBDY. FM 106.3 serving Bluefield, Princeton, and Tazewell. Good evening. You're into the Graham High School football 1991. We'll give you the starters a little later. These guys are starting about five minutes early on us, Danny. I tell you, they are just about ready to go here, Cass. They are ready to go. Royals, Royals has got it teed up, and he's waiting on the whistle. Greg Ridley is in the middle deep, flanked on the left by our good buddy Brent Surface. And also back deep for the Graham High School G-Men is a number 44, Charlie Stiltner. And Royals approaches the football in the 91 season. is underway. It's coming down to Stiltner. He takes it at the 15. He's to the 20, 25. Breaking some tackles, and he gets all the way up to about the 37-yard line with the Graham G-Men offensively, 1991. Will take over first and ten. Raymond Isabel makes a stop for the Beavers along with Eric Small. So we're just underway. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Graham High Football 1991. I tell you what, Danny, Charlie Stiller was about two men away from breaking that for a touchdown. Almost, yes. Yeah. The season has officially started now. Yeah, buddy. The G-Men break from the huddle. They operate from their heralded wishbone. Bill Dudley, the quarterback with back surface and Bailey in the backfield. And it looked like somebody made a move back there in the backfield. A handoff was to Brent Surface, and Surface is thrown for a loss. Tackle was made in there by Raymond Isabel again. I tell you, Isabel shot in, Cass slowed him up, or he didn't stop him, but the, but the pursuit caught him. So the G-Men will look at second down and 10. They uh, rest the ball at the G-Men 36-yard line. Check that at second down 15, loss of five on the play. They move it back to the, uh, they're trying to decide, 30-yard line. Second down, 15, wishbone. Dudley takes a snap. The handoff this time to Farley. Farley gets about three yards. And the tackle is made by Eric Smalls, and Farley gets it up to about the 34-yard line, where it will be third down and about 12 for the G-men. 11.04 to go, first quarter, no score. The Beavers are fired up at this point, Jess. Farley checks out of the ball game, and Greg Ridley checks in for the Graham High School G-Men. Todd King moving out of the huddle down there, right in for the Graham High School G-Men. Alderman the other end. King now split wide right. Dudley takes the snap from center, gives to Surface. He's got a blocker. Surface got a great block from Jeremy Carbaugh, but then he got smacked at about the 39-40 yard line, and the G-Men are going to have to punt that football as the stop was made by Ron Best. One heck of a hit, Cass. We're just underway here from Mitchell Stadium. Graham High School football back. And to do the punting for the Graham High School G-Men, no, not Ricky Brown. He's at Concord this year. Brian Denham, the senior, is back for the G-Men. Looking for a good snap from Jeff Johnson. It is one. And Denham gets on a relatively good kick. It bounces at the 30, takes a G-Men bounce, and it's picked up by Isabel, and he is tripped up at the 25-yard line, and we'll pause for 30 seconds, no score. Bluefield's newest convenience store, Shortstop Westgate, has everything you need from a convenience store. Clean restrooms, gasoline, a deli with homemade candies and fried apple pies, salads, breakfast biscuits, and hot dogs. Shortstop even has Rocky Top Pop, including the newest flavors, Citrus Drop and Dr. Topper. Four cans only a dollar or 35 cents each. Tonight's ball game special, a hot dog, bag of chips, and a can of Rocky Top only a dollar nine. Shortstop Westgate, open 24 hours. All right, we're back here live at Mitchell Stadium. The Bluefield Beavers with the football for the first time offensively the 1991 season. First and 10 from their own 25, nine minutes. Remaining first quarter, no score. There's the snap from center to Lane, and he hands off to number 32 in there, Buddy Gilpin. And Gilpin picks up about seven yards before he is stopped in there by Josh Hornbarger. Also Farley in on the tackle, and I believe Brian Denham also in on there, as well as Randy Belcher. It will be 
Second down and two, pick up of eight. So that was impressive, Danny. I tell you, the Beavers are fired up right now, Kent. That was just pure power running. Checking into the football game is Chris Cronin from Bluefield High School. And here come the Beavers. They're operating from the wing tee. 837 remain in first quarter. Second down at two from their own 28. Lane barks the signals, takes a snap, hands off to the first man. He tripped up and then skates through there. Tripped up around the ankles and finally stopped by Brent Surface back there in the backfield. On the carry that time, I didn't I didn't really see the number that time, Denny. Uh, check, I believe it was Raymond Isabel on the carry, and Isabel uh, did not be her first down. The g man has got to tighten up your kiss. They act like they're awful tight right now. Here we go, third down and about one for the Bluefield Beavers. Pro set right. Lane takes the snap, hands off the second man through. They've got the first down, and he's tripped up by surface. And there is a fumble. They call it. They blow it dead. It will be a first down for the Beavers at the 39. Surface made the stop. And on the carry once again was Raymond Isabel. Well, that was a nice tackle by Brett Surface open field. The Beavers blew a hole that time. Cash, you could drove the Mack truck through. Checking in for the Graham High School G-Men is Chris Austin. And checking out is Brian Denham. 7.40 remaining first quarter. Beavers with the football first and 10 from their own 39. No score. Graham High football 1991 here on Country 106. Lane and the Beavers from the wing tee. Lane takes the snap from center. Gives to Gilpin around the left side. He's got some running room. And he is just tripped up. Just tripped up in there by Billy Banks. A linebacker. Pick up another first down, and that is into G-Men territory at the G-Men 49-yard line, Danny. Two first downs in a hurry, Kess. Beavers looking real impressive in their first offensive series. The G-Men have had the ball, and they were unable to do anything, Danny. Well, at this point right now, the G-Men act like they're a little bit confused, Kess. Well, they could be, you know. I'm a little confused myself. <laughs> but that's far for the course, you know what I mean, Vern? Yes, I do. 7.26 remaining first quarter. You're in tune to Graham High School football here on Country 106. One of our sponsors, our good friend Jerry Bovenazer from Goody Coots uh, Pharmacy, Bluefield. Oh, man, over the years, those folks have uh, done a fine job, haven't they not? Fantastic, yes. They'll fill your prescriptions, plus they're renovating right now. You can get half price on all their cards over there. Here come the Beavers, first down at 10 for the G-Men 49-yard line. Lane takes the snap from center, fakes to one man, gives it to Gilpin, and Gilpin is smothered by a host of G-Men led by Todd Massey, and there'll be about a loss of six, seven yards on that play, Danny. Smothered is not the word for it. G-Men defense coming to life here in the first quarter early. Looking a little shaky in the first uh, couple of uh, plays, but they're coming to life now. Loss of five on the play. It'll be second down at 15. They mark the ball at the Beaver 45-yard line. Beams with 6.30 remaining first quarter. Still no score. You're in tune to Graham High Football 91, chapter number one of the 91 campaign. Flankers left and right, one lone back in the backfield with Mr. Lane. Lane barks the signal. Man in motion takes the snap, hand off to Isabel, caught in the backfield, and almost tripped up and tripped up by Brent Surface. Billy Banks got his arms around uh, Isabel's ankles in the backfield, slowed him down, and Brent Surface came in and put the finishing touches I'll on I'll tell you, it. Brent's playing a good defensive game so far, Kiss. i tell you what, this Brent, and you know what's amazing about this kid? What's that, kid? He's a junior. One more year after this. Yes, sirree. Brent Surface. What did we call him last year? Jim Brent. Brent Jim. Or Brent, okay. I don't know, something like that. We'll have to nickname him something else, and I think, I think we might get to nickname him something else tonight. Third down, a 19 situation for the Bluefield Beavers. The ball rests at their own 41-yard line. They've got a flanker left, pro set right. Lane barks the signals, takes the snap, looking to throw, dropping back, looking for the screen in the flat, incomplete, and that was intended for Brian Royals. It will be fourth down, and the Beavers are going to have to punt the football for the first time tonight. That one was simply overthrown, but the G-men had it covered, Dan. They had to smell that all the way, kid. 527 remaining first quarter. Dropping back deep for the Graham High School G-Men will be Brent Surface and uh, Greg Ridley. Ridley, of course, played for these Beavers last year. 
Royals to do the punting. He'll stand at his own 27-yard line. There is the snap from center. It's a good one. And Royals gets the kick off there. Boy, it's a beautiful one. Surface will let it roll, and it will go into the end zone. And no score with 519 remaining. First quarter will pause for 30 seconds. Announcing a Tri-County Labor Day Zillathon. It's in one location only. Ramey Route 460 in Tazewell. Over 600 cars and trucks are priced below sticker during this three-day Labor Day Zillathon. Hurry. Qualified buyers pay no money down. Bankrupts on site for immediate delivery. It's for trade and you'll pay the lowest price imaginable during this event. Ramey Tazewell Automotive Superstore. This Zillathon is for three days only. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. 62-yard punt on that play. And there is a fake... Dudley on the first play from scrimmage gives it to Banks up the middle and Banks has got enough for a G-Men first down all the way to the 31 yard line. And the tackle was made by Kevin Buford. That is the first first down this evening for the Graham High School G-Men. The Beavers thus far have two in tonight's game. Five minutes remaining, first quarter G-Men. Wishbone, Dudley, Bark, the signals, takes the snap, gives once again to Banks. Up the middle, Banks breaking some tackles, looking like Marcus Choo Choo Latimer in there, Danny. I'll tell you, he looks exactly like Choo Choo in there, Ken. He's picked up about four or five yards. Now, let's check it. It could be three or four. Depends. Willis Wilson makes a stop. We'll call it four yards. It'll be second down at six. The G-men with the football at her own 34-yard line with 437 remaining and counting first quarter. ESPN here at Mitchell Stadium tonight. Ryan King goes out wide to the right from the wishbone. Dudley takes the snap. Looks to throw, fakes it to surface around the right, and a beautiful tackle made in there by number 83, Ellison, or Shane Ellison. Great stop. Good penetration, Cass. Excellent penetration, and the G-men looking for something right now to click. Well, surface would have got some yardage that time, Cass. That meant, meant for Mr. Ellison. Good tackle. Charlie Stilter checks out of the game for the G-men. The G-men looking now at third and seven from their own 34. They'll operate from the wishbone. It's surface, Banks. Let's see, dropping out wide to the right is Alderman. There's the snap from center. They give us the surface. Surface breaks a couple of tackles. He'll be close to the first down and knocked out of bounds over there at about the 40-yard line. The stop made by Isabel. It will be close to a, J a Graham first down. It is a G-men first down with 344 remaining in the first quarter. So oh, Starting to click a little bit now. Joe Farley checking out of the game for the G-men. Also parading with Stiltner, Belcher, and Surface in the backfield. Dudley takes a snap. Check that. Up, oh, yep. Great tackle in there. The handoff was to Rodney Bailey, who was in the backfield. Check it again. Mistake. Randy Belcher. Ron Betts makes a stop. We'll get it straight here sooner or later, folks. <laughs> we got to learn all these numbers again. Got to. Three and a half minutes remaining. First quarter, no score. You're in tune to Graham High School football on 106.3 WBDY. The G-men breaking from the huddle, the ball on their 40-yard line. Loss of three on the play. It will be second down and 13. G-men from the wishbone. Dudley barking the signals. Takes the snap from center. They give us to Ridley. He'll be stopped. No gain on the play. It will be third down and 13. The stop made at that time by Jerry Simon of the Beavers. Banks checks into the football game for the G-Men with the play from the sidelines, and Stiltner checks out. Danny, it's good to be back here at Mitchell Stadium, you know? It sure is. Well, I tell you what, it's going to be a long drought for us, though. After tonight's game, we're going to be away for four or four games plus an open date. I think we're going to be in the road again, Kess. Ryan King, wide to the left, G-Men, wishbone. Dudley looks to throw, fakes it, looks downfield, and boy, he faked me out real good. The carry was uh, made by Billy Banks. Billy is short of the first down by about eight yards. The stop made by Shane Ellison. And the G-men will have to punt with 2.18 remaining in the first quarter of play. There is no score. And Mr. Denham on the Bryan side, the big guy, will uh, get set to do the punting for the Graham High School G-men. Kind of funny to look out there and not see Ricky Brown. It sure is. But O'Brien uh, has done a good job preseason punting, and he's going to do a fine job, I'm sure. I know one thing. He's going to do a fine job on that defense. Super kid. And the guys that are dropped back deep for the Beavers are Isabel and Lane. There's a snap from center. A good punt. It's taken by Isabel. And 
and he had popped in there. That was a check it to Ron Betts, I believe, Danny, that had that football. Yeah, it was Ron Betts on the carry. Broke a couple of tackles and was stopped at the 23-yard line. The final tackle made in there by number 61 of the G-Men, one and only Todd Massey, along with John Novager. So, the Beavers will take over first and 10 on their own 24-yard line. We'll pause for 30 seconds. No doubt about it, Seafair Restaurant has the best fast lunch specials around, and that's no exaggeration. Enjoy a bowl of soup, toss, salad, with only $3.49. Seafood stuffed potato or cheddar cheese and broccoli stuffed potato with hush puppies or toasted garlic bread, $3.99. Plus different lunch specials every day of the week. All priced low and served in 10 minutes or your lunch is free. When you think of lunch, think of Seafair Restaurant, Bluefield, Virginia. All right, there's a snap from center. There's a fumble on the play. The G-men have recovered. They've got the football at the 21-yard line of the Beavers with 1.32 remaining first quarter. Big break, Danny. I tell you, Kiss, I couldn't tell who recovered that. There was too many in the pile. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan. One, I'll tell you what, they smelled it out, though, didn't they? <laughs> didn't I, they? I was just fixing to say it was about time we had a fumble or something, Kiss, and we, we sure got it. As soon as the football hit the turf, there were a, a bunch of burgundy jerseys down there on the, on the, on the ground. The snap was taken by Lane, the quarterback, Mike Lane, given to the first man through, who was uh, Willis Wilson, the fullback. G-Men, first and 10 from the Beaver 21, 113 remaining first quarter. Dudley takes the snap, gives the surface. He's tripped up in the backfield. A great tackle made in there by number 52 for the Beavers. That was D.W. Purdue. Shot in there, Kiss. Timed it just right and got the ankles. Purdue is a senior for the Bluefield Beavers. 193 pounder, six foot guard. Defensively for the Bluefield High School Beavers right now. They've got Purdue, Simon, Buford, Smalls. Here come the G-Man, Wishbone. Second down, 14. There was a loss of four on the play. The ball on the Beaver 24. Handoff in there to number 31 of the G-Man. That was, uh, let's see, Joe Farley. It's going to take them a while to get used to these new numbers. Farley picked up five yards on the play. It will be third down and nine. And I believe it's going to be uh, the end of the first quarter. We'll see. The G-men break from the huddle with 10 seconds. That's 10 ticks remaining on the clock. Six, five. I believe they will get the playoff. We'll see. Dudley barks the signals. Takes the snap. Dudley on the keeper. It stopped in the middle. That will end the first quarter. We will pause for 60 seconds. No score. Don't finance for 60 months. Drive a new car or truck every three or four years from Ramey Chevrolet Oldsmobile, Route 460, Princeton. Pick a vehicle. Pick a payment. Ramey costs you less. And there's no down payment with approved credit. Save on 91 Chevys, Route 460 in Princeton. And drive a new car every three or... We'll be Chris Austin. Once again, we'll talk a little bit about the Goody Goods Pharmacy in just a few minutes where you need to get your all your prescriptions filled and carts. Here's the kick. It is up, and it is no good. Wide to the left, and the Beavers will take over. Goody Goods Pharmacy, Bland Street in Bluefield, for so many years has been the pharmacy of choice in this area, Danny, and there's a number of reasons behind that. Number one, I think those guys provide... Uh, the best personal service this area has to offer as far as the pharmacy is concerned. I'll agree with that. Okay. He's done a heck of a job with the Beavers so far, Cass. I like Freddie's brothers better than Freddie, though. <laughs> I'm like, sure Freddie appreciates that. I like that. Jimmy and Joe a lot better. First and ten for the Beavers. They operate from their own 20 with 11.55 remaining. First half, there is no score. Lane takes a snap from center. There's a mix-up in the backfield. There will be a pickup of one. It was given to the first man through. There will be no gain on the play. The handoff was to Raymond Isabel. The stop was laid in there by Jimmy Atkins. I believe we've got that right. Now, Jimmy Atkins is 220 pounds. Got two guys out there with a number 64. We'll have to check that. I believe, does that? He doesn't look that big to me. Yeah, 5'11". He's 5'11", at least, Danny. At least. 5'11", uh, at least 5'11". He's 6'4", at least. 11.20 remaining. The ball is on the Beaver 22-yard line. They look at second down and eight. Lane, the quarterback, barks the signals. There's a man in motion. He sets. There's no flag on the play. And there was a handoff in there. Denham over there. I believe it's made the stop on Isabel. The handoff was to Isabel. And Isabel, I believe, picked up, uh, what, Danny, about a yard. foot? 
Maybe a yard. Let's give me a yard, guess. Maybe a yard. It'll be third down at eight as the clock ticks here in the second quarter of play. There is no score. Checking out of the football game for the Bluefield Beavers, Willis Wilson. He comes to the sidelines. The Beavers look at third and eight from their own 22-yard line. No score in tonight's game thus far. A good game so far, kids. Yeah, buddy. Lane, a quarterback from the eye, takes the snap from center, gives to the first man through, and the Graham G-Men defense puts the old stopper on it. Defense now for the G-Men starting to look like they're wearing on the Bluefield Beavers. I believe, Danny, when the, when the game first began, the Beavers had that adrenaline flowing, and the G-Men were kind of sluggish at the start. That's what I think, too, Cass. Uh, all that weight against them eventually is going to wear them down. Got to. The defense, of course, it could work uh, it could work the other way on the Graham High School G-Men with the heat out there. Okay, Ridley and Surface are back deep for the G-Men. Broyles set to do the punting for the Beavers from the eight-yard line. His own eight. Gets off a high punt. And they're going to let it bounce. It takes a Beaver route. Uh, G-Men, it's going to be down about the, the G-Men 49-yard line. They'll take over first and ten. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Comfort and convenience, two of the reasons why people say they like their heat pumps. J&M Heating and Air Conditioning sells the Linux High Efficiency Heat Pump, which heats in the... They'll save you money. And don't forget, at J&M, financing's available, nothing down, and easy monthly payments with approved credit. Call J&M Heating and Air Conditioning in Princeton, 425-5445. Appalachian Power joins in bringing this message. Hi, right, back here live. Dudley takes the snap from center and the handoff in there to, uh, I believe it was Billy Banks on the carry. And Billy's picked up a couple of yards, three yards on the carry. It'll be second down and seven. Let's call it second down and eight. The stop is made by Allen Peacock. The ball is on the Beaver 47-yard line. G-Men with the football with nine minutes remaining in the first half. Still no score here from Mitchell Stadium. There's the snap from center. Dudley rolling to the right, looking for some room. Dudley will be tackled at the Beaver 40, 45, 46-yard line. There'll be a couple of yards uh, gain on the play. The stop made in there that time by D.W. Purdue. It will be third down and six. If you guys want to, we've got a brand new studio at Country 106. If you guys want to uh, fiddle with those knobs over there to the left, <laughs> on that uh, equalizer thing. Uh, you can maybe get the sound a little bit better for the folks. Third down at six. Flanker right. Pro set left. G-Men. Dudley takes the snap. And the give is to Banks up the middle. Banks around the right side. Check of the left side. First down. And he gets it to the 37-yard line of the Beavers where he was stopped in there by, uh, let's see. Number 19, and we don't have it, guess, so we'll give it to the next guy, 18, stack line. Okay, Chad Steckline made the, made the stack. <laughs> There's 8-12 remaining in the first half. There is no score thus far in tonight's contest. First down and 10 for the Graham High School team, and the ball rests at the Beaver 38-yard line. We've got a hot one out here at Mitchell Stadium. Dudley takes the snap, pitches back. And there's a stop made in there. The, the carry was made by Randy Belcher. Belcher around the left-hand side. The stop was made by Eric Small. And there was a pickup of one. It is second down and nine. Well, the G-men haven't thrown yet, Kess. It's about time to air the ball out. What do you think? Well, I don't think so, Dan. With the score, nothing, nothing. I don't think Coach Carlock's going to do it yet. He won't do it unless he absolutely has to. You know what I mean? 7.20 remaining, first half, second down nine, G-Men, here we go, Dudley throwing a football, just like you said, it's uh, intended for Greg Ridley, he had Greg Ridley wide open down the right-hand sidelines, broken up by Isabel, Ridley had six all over him. As I was saying, Kiss, uh, <laughs> hey, dude, it's about time for a pass. You made the call, you're the doctor, buddy, we'll call you <laughs> Dr. Robinson this year. I can smell it coming, Kiss. <laughs> it will be third down, third down and nine for the Graham High School G-Men with 91. G-Men break from the huddle. They send Banks flank to the right, a pro set left. There's the snap from center. Dudley pitches back to surface. Surface making a couple of moves, and he is tackled in the backfield. Surface was going to try the halfback pass that time, Danny. To no avail, the G-Men are going to have to punt. They had him covered all the way on that one, Kess. He didn't have a change on that one. Looks like he got shook up just a little bit. He's going to be all right. 
Okay, so there's 649 remaining, and uh, it, uh, the clock is uh, continuing to tick. Jeremy Carbaugh, first guy out of the huddle for the G-Men. Dropping back to uh, receive the punt for the Beavers is Ronnie Betts. And I'm not sure who the other guy is. Ronnie Betts, I see him. And number 19, I guess. I don't have a 19. We'll have to find out who 19 is. is. Bad snap from center, but Denham gets the kick off. It's taken by 19, and he's down at the 12-yard line. No score, 6.38 remaining. First half, we'll pause for 30. Football is in the air, and what a great 54-96. Back here live, Beavers with the football first and 10 from their own 13-yard line. They send a flanker to the right. They operate from the eye. I doubt very seriously they're going to throw it. Lane, the quarterback, takes a snap, gives to the second man through. He goes nowhere, stacked up by the entire G-Men interior defensive line. It will be second down as the clock ticks. We're under six minutes to play in the first half. He may have got about a half a yard in that guess. Well, a half a yard is better than nothing, ain't it, Dan? That's correct. I, I believe it is. Dan, I'll tell you, if you ever have any problems, buddy, if you ever have any problems and you need some legal counsel. Yes, sir. I'll tell you, I'll tell you the guy to turn to, Jim Dudley, attorney at law. He's a pretty good, pretty good guy, Oh, uh, he's, a, he's a great guy, and he's a great attorney. I'm going to tell you more about him in a few minutes. Second down and 10, Beavers from their 13-yard line from the eye wide receiver left, flanker left. And there's the pitch back, and that one was to Betts. Betts up, picks up a couple of yards. Gets it up to the 14-yard line. Stop made by Todd King. It will be third down. Also, uh, let's see, also in on that uh, play, Brent Surface for the G-Men. And another guy, Randy Belcher. Smothered him again. So uh, gang tackling by the G-Men, as they've done for the past two years. We're under five minutes to play in the first half. There is no score. It is third down and eight. Beavers with the football at their 14-yard line. It's a terrible place for these guys to have to punt, I'll tell you that uh, there, uh, Danny. I'll agree with that. Pro set right, Beavers. Lane takes the quarterback, looking to throw. Dropping back, dropping way back in the end zone. And he strips up, and it'll be incomplete, I believe. Yeah, it was trapped. Lane going all the way back to his end zone, being chased by Josh Hornberger. Josh puts the pressure on him. Cassidy had to release that ball. Oh, I tell you what, also, you know, running to his right, running back, he put that one up for grabs, Dan, but he almost completed it. It would have been short of the first down. At any rate, the Beavers are going to have to punt the football, and uh, Mr. Broyles is going to be standing, I believe, uh, right at about the two-yard line with 439 remaining in the first half. No score. Beavers with a fourth and eight situation. Greg Ridley, who played for the Beavers last year, standing at midfield, awaiting the punt from Mr. Broyles. There is a timeout on the field. Now let's talk about Jim Dudley, attorney at law. So, Danny, we're talking earlier. So you're driving down. Indeed. Oh, I agree with you 100%. Aye, aye, aye. Fourth and eight, the Beavers. Look at the punt. Broyles standing at his two-yard line. Uh-oh, the Beavers moved, I believe, Danny. Somebody there on the line, so they're going to mark that thing. About five yards Looks deeper. like the right side there jumped off, Cass. Five yards deeper into their own territory, so Mr. Bulls is going to move back, possibly into his own end zone, where you never want to punt the football. Puts a little bit of extra pressure on him, too. Where you want to punt, the most comfortable place for a high school football player in the coach's eyes to punt the football is during the pregame. <laughs> I'll agree with that. Pre-game and on the sidelines. Or during preseason, but never during the game. He is in his end zone now, about three yards deep. Royal set to pump. There's a good snap from center. The G-men rush it. Great punt. It's going to be taken by Ridley at the 45-yard line. He fumbles the football. Falls on it. The G-men will take over first and 10. No score. 431 remaining. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Gearheart's men's clothing makes fall the best dressed of all seasons. And football weather demands sweaters that stand up to the temperature and look great. Gearheart's has Janssen sweaters, including cardigans, pullovers, and vests. Janssen sweaters celebrate fall in prints and solids in fashion colors. New styles arriving daily. Gearheart's and Janssen's football season has never looked better. Open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. with convenient parking. Gearheart's men's clothing, 1335 Bland Street, Bluefield. Phone 327-0155. 
Came in with the football to the Beaver 45. The handoff to Billy Bax through the middle. The first man three picks up two. It'll be second down and eight. The stop was made in there by Alan Peacock of the Beavers. We're under four minutes to play here in the first half. The ball rests at the Beaver 44-yard line. Hey, uh, we want to welcome in Marty Gearhart to our Graham High School's Bland Street in Bluefield. Go there and uh, buy something uh, tomorrow. You get a great deal on some great threads. Second down and eight. Dudley gives to the first man through, and he picks up about eight yards on the carry for the G-men. That time was Charlie Stiltner. That's going to be close to a G-men first down. We'll see where they mark it. It will be third down, however. Kevin Buford makes a stop for the Beavers. Well, they mark it a little bit uh, farther back than what I thought, Danny. It'll be third down and four. Clock ticking now. We're a little under three and a half to play in the first half. There is still no score. Third down and four. Beavers, or rather the G-men, the pitch back to Billy Banks. Banks is tripped up. The stop was made by Eric Smalls, and I believe the G-men this time, Danny. I believe they just may go for the first down. It's going to be fourth and about three. What do you think? What's your call? I here, definitely doctor? would go for it. Yeah, they are. That's what they call a little bit of uh, a little bit of confidence in that defense, then. And there's a timeout on the field for the G-men, and time in for this message about our good buddy Buck Hahn and all those good folks out there at Cole Motor Company. Now, Frill Truck, big old man, and our good buddy Buck Hahn. We thank you, Buck, and we uh, we wish you the very best tonight. Well, here we go, Kev. Fourth down and three. G-men going forward at the Beaver 37, 234 remaining, and somebody jumps. One of the G-men jumped offside. That was uh, Graham Thompson who jumped off. They'll mark it five against the G-men. Procedure penalty. And let's see what the G-men now, now will do, Danny. Are we going to punt it now, or are we going to go for it again? I do believe I'd punt it this time, Ken. It would make it about fourth down and eight, I believe, if my calculations are correct. That's awfully close to what it is. It looks as if they will punt the football. I believe. Yes, yeah, I believe they are, Dan. It's fourth down and eight. The ball is at the Beaver 37. There's two and a half minutes remaining. Do we don't have OT, do we? We don't have OT in, uh, yeah, we do. We have yeah. OT in, in uh, well, what about, is this a Virginia or West Virginia? It's a Virginia game. That's right. We're home. Denham set the punt. It's a good snap from center. They're rushing it hard. There's a great punt by Denham. It's going to be taken by Belt. At the five, he flips, trips, makes the move, runs around to the six-yard line, and is thrown down by Brent Surface at the five-yard line. A fabulous tackle. <laughs> Excellent tackle, Ken. That's a shirt tail tackle. The Beavers will take over first and ten. We're going to pause for 30 seconds. Laurel Mountain Medical, the oxygen specialists in this area, are for our service. We specialize in the air you breathe. Laurel Mountain Medical. Okay, folks, we're back here live. The Beavers with the football at their own five-yard line. First and ten. Lane takes the snap from center, rolling to the right, looking downfield. Yucky, he's going to throw that one out of bounds. They'll drop the flag on that. Back, back, back. That one in the stand. Well, let me tell you what. The linesman over there, his back was turned, and he, he looked at the referee, and he said, should I show up for it? Should I throw it? Should I throw it? And the referee says, yes, you should. He threw the flag. The referee did, though. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan. I'll tell you what. That was a smooth move by Mr. Lane. He was caught there in the end zone. That was going to cost the Beavers two points and possibly the game the way this thing's been going. Well, he, he aimed for a three-out uh, on that I did. What are they doing here? They're, what are they doing? I get two points. I believe, Danny, it's two points of it G-Men. It is. It is. Anytime a penalty is called in the end zone. zone. Yes. So the G-Men are on the board for the first time. <laughs> We're talking baseball scores. It's two to nothing here in the uh, bottom. And, uh, like a one in a thousand, kiss. It just happens that way. One in a million chance in a lifetime. Remember, for the best cook lunch or dinner, parties or business meetings make the right choice. For lunch or dinner, this area's favorite restaurant is Western Sizzlin Stadium Drive in Bluefield. Well, I tell you what, it's my favorite restaurant, Western Sizzlin Stadium Drive in Bluefield. Gene Thurman, you won't find a fine. Got to be caught back there in the end zone. Instead of getting caught, he threw the football 
to the gram, dressing room. To the gra- yeah, threw, threw, threw it to Ann Surface. <laughs> Uh, G-Man Booster and a uh, mother of Brent. Yeah. The flag was thrown. Two points for the G-Man. Now they're fighting. And Ridley catches the football at the G-Man 38, 45 to the 50. Ridley with some blocking room is in Beaver territory at the 41-yard line where the G-Man take over first and 10 with 134 remaining in this first half. The tackle was made by Eric Small. So... There was controversy here in the bottom half of the second quarter. And, uh, you know, down there on the field, Freddie Simon and all of the folks here at the Bluefield Beavers uh, kind of got up that Freddie was arguing, but to no avail, it was a penalty. There is a, uh, I believe there's a timeout on the field. Uh, it looks like it's an official's timeout, Dan. It is. And now they're ready to play. The G-men are up on the line, first and 10 from the Beaver 41-yard line. From the wishbone, Dudley takes the snap. Gives to Banks, who is tripped up at the 40. There'll be a gain of about two yards. The stop made in there by Kevin Buford of the Beavers. And by the time we get the next play underway, we will be under 60 in the first half. g on top, two to nothing. A lot of folks thought they'd be on top by a heck of a lot more. Throw set right, flank to the left is Brent Surface. Dudley barks the signals. Drops back to throw. Looking downfield, he'll be smacked. Dudley will be thrown for a loss all the way back to his own 45-yard line. They'll mark it, I believe, at the 48 or 49. Beautiful play in there by Kevin Buford. Dudley had nowhere to go and nowhere to throw. The Beavers are still fired up for this game, Kiss. Let me tell you what. They're, they're playing, I'll, I'll be honest with you, a lot better than I thought they'd ever play at this point. There's a timeout on the field, Danny, with 38 ticks remaining in the first half. We'll pause for 60 seconds. If you're looking to keep heavy equipment up and running, look to Chevron and College Avenue Chevron to keep things running smoothly. They offer a full line of Dello heavy-duty motor oils, specially formulated for severe service. Dello heavy-duty motor oils hold up under the strain of an engine being pushed to its limit. If you need motor oils that can handle the daily grind, motor oils that can beat the cold and take the heat, give College Avenue Chevron... Bullet tow it today to McCann, Ford, Mitsubishi, Fourway, and Taswell. All right, the team is third down at 20 from their own 48-yard line. Dudley takes the snap, pitches back to surface. He's caught in the backfield. And a great tackle made in there by Buddy Gilpin. There'll be a loss on the play of a bundle. It's going to be fourth down at about a country mile. The Beavers are playing ball right now, Ken. Yes, they are. Now the G-men are going to have to put the <laughs> barking signals. Denham set to kick. He'll be standing at his uh, 28-yard line. What Betts is the only man back. They're going to rush everybody, rushing 10 men. There's a snap from center. It's a good one. And Denham puts the foot to that one. Fair catch being called by Betts. He fumbles the football and falls on us. Oh, boy, I thought the team had had that football. Oh, I did, too. That was close. Betts had the football at the 10-yard line, 21 ticks remaining. We'll pause for 30 seconds here from Mitchell Stadium. If certificates of deposit, CDs, currently make up the foundation of your investment or savings program, you owe it to yourself to check out Nationwide Capital Defender Life, an exciting alternative offered by the Nationwide Life Insurance Company. Capital Defender Life is a single premium interest-sensitive whole life plan that currently is returning a competitive rate of interest. In addition, Capital Defender Life features high safety, estate protection, tax advantages, and liquidity. Call your Nationwide agent today, Smokey Blaylock, for the details. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, old Smokey Blaylock's one of the finest guys I know and one of the biggest G-Men supporters in this area. Okay, here we go. Five seconds, four seconds. The Beavers, I believe, are going to let the time run out, Danny. That is what it is. That's the end of the first half. Or the third inning or something like that. <laughs> the G-Men are on top with a score of two to zip. And, uh, man, I, we're going to have to bring in a relief pitcher or something here, Danny. For me, my arm's getting tired. It's all in time. one season. And remember, when you need welding supplies, medical and industrial...
3-2-2-3-4-5-4. There's the kickoff from Austin. It is taken by one of the Beavers at the 15-yard line. Up to the 25, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Beavers will take over first down and 10. Just underway, the tackle made, or rather on the carry, was Buddy Gilpin, and the tackle was made by Brent Surface along with Charlie Stiltner of the G-Men. Just underway here, second half action. G-Men on top, two to nothing. Well, we'll see what's going to happen now, I guess, to see if the G-Men are fired up and play some ball. They send a receiver wide to the right. They operate from the eye, laying the quarterback. Barks the signals, takes the snap, pitches back around the right side, check it left side. The pitch back there was to Raymond Isabel. Isabel picks up a couple of yards. We'll look at second down, the tackle made by Todd King along with Randy Belcher of the G-Men. So the Beavers will look at second down and eight with 11 minutes remaining in the third quarter. The ball rests at their own 34-yard line. Hey, we want to take this opportunity to say hello to our good buddy, Jerry Rossi. Rossi's IGA in Bluefield, Virginia. Now, there's another fine gentleman there, Dan. Yes, sir. And look, there's Freddie Simon's brother, Jimmy Simon, coming up the steps as we speak. Now, that's a good-looking young man. <laughs> Wide receiver right from the eye, Beavers. There's a snap from center. They will go nowhere, nothing doing. The stop made by Todd Massey, and Todd had that. He had that stinker nose out that time. It Spelled was, out all the way. Oh, yeah, man. I'll tell you what. That was Massey along with Denham. They made the stop. Nothing doing. It'll be third down and nine for the Beavers from their own 33. Checking into the football game for the Bluefield Beavers is Lionel Beasley. Hey, we want to pass along a couple of uh, scores to you. I had them just a few moments ago. Well, I do believe they're there. right down here, Ken. There they are. First half, it's Quintwood 6, Garden nothing, or Grundy nothing. Richland 7, Garden nothing. So that's what it was. Marion 14, Gate City 13, that one in the first half. Here come the Beavers, wide receiver left, flanker left, and a man in motion to the right. Lane, the quarterback, takes the signal. Pitches back to Gilpin, and Gilpin at ball. Oh, man, was he smacked by Brian Denham. Brian Denham put the hurting on Buddy Gilpin that time, I'll tell you. He was absolutely kareemed. So, Danny, the Beavers look at a fourth down situation. Fourth down and eight, they will have to punt. Broyles checks into the football game. The G-men looking great on defense to begin the second half. Well, we'll see what the offense does here in a minute, Cass. Brent Surface drops back deep along with Greg Ridley, Broyle set the punt. He'll be punting from his own 20-yard line. He gets a high snap from center, but he gets the kickoff. Boy, he has been booming this football. Beautiful. Kick. Brent Surface takes it at his 28-yard line. Stutter step to the left, back to the right. Brent picks up about three yards. It will be first and 10 for the G-Men with 9-4 remaining third quarter. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Announcing a Tri-County Labor Day Sellathon. It's in one location only. Ramey Route 460 in Tazewell. Over 600 cars and trucks are priced below sticker during this three-day Labor Day Sellathon. Hurry. Qualified buyers pay no money down. Bankrupts on site for immediate delivery. It's a Tri-County Sellathon at Ramey and Tazewell. Bring your title or payment book. You'll get top dollar for your trade and you'll pay the lowest price imaginable during this event. Ramey, Tazewell, all the morning superstore. This Sellathon is for three days only, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. G-Men with a football first and 10 for their own 36. You've got to come back in there quicker. Uh, there's a pickup of a couple of yards. The uh, give was to the first man through, and the uh, ball carrier was Greg Ridley. And it looks like there's some more action down there. I'll tell you what, Danny, I just can't believe this. I cannot believe it. Absolutely can't believe this. There's more stuff, I'm telling you. It's the worst I've ever seen here at Mitchell Stadium. You take a good situation and you make it bad. Second down and nine. The G-Men with the football. Dudley hands off the surface. Surface got some running room. Still on his feet all the way to midfield. And it will be uh, down. first down and 10 for the Graham High School G-Men. That was a good run that time, Keith. That was a fabulous run. The stop was made and it was a saving tackle by Raymond Isabel. That's right, Raymond Isabel on the tackle. 8.07 remaining third quarter. G-Men first down at their own 48-yard line. First down on 48. I 
tell you what, I, if, if I was a Bluefield police, Danny, I'd be calling the state police in here right now. I do believe I would, too. It's just getting out of hand. They need some help in here. I'll tell you what. It's just getting out of hand, and they need to bring some help in here and get it settled down. Well, they need to probably, I, I tell you what, I, you know what, I just stop the football game. It is, uh, it's not a real, real pretty sight, folks. First down and 10, the G-men with the football at their own 48. We'll try and pay attention to the game as much as possible. Dudley takes the snap from center. The give is to, let's see, Novinger is in the football game now. Yes. A good John, run by Novinger at time. John picks up about four yards. It will be second down. Check it, it picked up three. It'll be second down and seven. The stop was made by Alan Peacock. That's Peacock on the stop and Novinger on the carry. Second down, seven, 7.30 remaining in the third quarter. The ball rests at the... Beaver 47 yard line, the Jeevan on top two to nothing. Dudley hands out the banks up the middle. He looked like Marcus Choo Choo Latimer. <laughs> that good time. run. A very good run that time. And another first down for the Graham High School Jeevan. Now starting to move the ball effectively. The tackle was made by D.W. Purdue. That's Purdue on the carry. And Banks, or rather Purdue making the stop, Banks making the carry. Seven minutes remaining, third quarter. G-Men on top, two zip. The ball is at the Beaver 39. G-Men on the march. Dudley takes a snap. Oh, there's a fumble. And it looks as though the Beavers will recover the football. The Beavers got it. The yeah. Beavers did. They did recover that football. Uh, Shane Ellison recovered the football for the Beavers, and they'll take over first and ten. Good let's, defense. Let's, yeah. see, let's see where they mark that thing. They mark it at the Beaver 46-yard line. That was a good pop by uh, somebody. Was it Ellison that made the pop? No, it wasn't Ellison. He just recovered the football. So, a big break for the Bluefield High School Beavers trying to get something going here in the second half and get something on the board tonight. Beavers with a flanker left, pro set right. Lane barks the signals. Takes the snap from center, looking to throw, looking downfield, rolling left, rolling right, being chased, and he'll be tackled by Josh Hernbarger all the way back to the 25-yard line. Almost ran over the referee, too, at that time. Also in on the tackle, Graham Thompson, Billy Banks in there. And that looked a little bit like Radford last year, Danny. <laughs> exactly like it, kid. Graham Thompson and uh, Flynn, Chuck Flynn. <laughs> That's right. Graham Thompson and Chuck Flynn, who looks so good down there. Boy, I'll tell you what. The Flynn's would like to punch me right now. I can't remember <laughs> their son's name. How that soon, was almost a 30-yard loss, guess. How soon we forget, right? That's right. Okay, so the Beavers now looking at, um, uh, we call this a second down and around the world for a first down. Oh, it's about 22 yards lost. Well, second down about halfway around the world. Okay. From the eye, flanker left, wide receiver left. And it's a trap, and there is the tackle, Gilpin, on the carry. Gilpin picks up a couple of yards, but he's still a mile away from the first down. Tackle is made in there by Brian Denham. So the bride, the big guy, is getting in some tackles, and we got a, uh, some quarterbacks warming up down there on the sidelines for the Beavers. Number 14 is Mike Lane. Lane is out of the game, I guess. This quarterback, let's see who's, who's in there. Done snuck one in on us, Cass. Yes, they did. Lane is down there uh, warming up. And in at quarterback, let's see, what's the number? Uh, number 12? Number 12. Sean Harmon is in there. Sean Harmon, the quarterback. Pro set left, flanker right. Beavers with the football. Harmon takes a snap, looking to throw. Being chased, still being chased. Being chased, and he'll be caught and thrown down at the four-yard line. Check it, nine-yard line. Hornbarger again at Graham Thompson. And Stiltner. And Banks. And uh, let's see, Harmon's uh, shoulder pad is just hanging out of his jersey. <laughs> That's yeah. what I call pursuit, Kess. Yeah, he was chased a country mile. Now, Danny, it is fourth down, and it is around the world for a first down. I agree with you, Kess. A couple hundred miles at least. I'd say it's uh, fourth down and all the way to Tazewell for a first down. Broyles is way back in his end zone that time, or this time, rather. And Greg Ridley is the lone back for the Graham High School G-Men. There's the snap from center. It's a high one, and the kick is blocked by the G-Men. 
It goes into the end zone, another safety. And, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, now it is four to nothing in the fifth inning. <laughs> I do believe that was Banks, but I'm not for certain it blocked that. We'll yet. say that it's Billy Banks. Well, no, I don't believe it was Billy Banks. I believe it was Josh Hornbarger again, Dan. It may have been. I believe it was Hornbarger. At any rate, at the bottom of the fifth inning, it's the G-Men four, and the Beavers nothing. Beavers looking for a relief pitcher. I'll be a son of a gun. This is too much. I, and, you know, I'll tell you what. I know who's getting a kick out of this, Danny, is ESPN. <laughs> Not only what us, but ESPN. Four to nothing to score. Another safety. Two safeties. Wild. You know, we need a, need somebody, uh, you know, we need a charge or a wave or something. The Beavers, uh, you know, win this game right now. The Beavers put six on the board. They got it six to four. But who did the G-Men have coming up in the uh, eighth? Who knows? <laughs> Who's on deck? Who's on, Who's on first? first? <laughs> All right, Broyles is uh, getting set to punt the football. You've got uh, Ridley, you got Stiltner, and Surface back deep. They stand at their 35-yard line. There's a punt. This one's a little short. It's going to be taken by Stiltner. Fielded at the 42, the 45, to the 50, to the Beaver 45, and dropped at the 42 of the Beavers. The Chima take over first and 10. We will pause for 30 seconds. Bluefield's newest convenience store, Shortstop Westgate, has everything you need from a convenience store. Clean restrooms, gasoline, a deli with homemade candies and fried apple pies, salads, breakfast biscuits, and hot dogs. Shortstop even has Rocky Top Pop, including the newest flavors, Citrus Drop and Dr. Topper. Four cans only a dollar or 30 five cents each. Tonight's ball game special, a hot dog, bag of chips, and a can of Rocky Top, only a dollar nine. Shortstop Westgate, open 24 hours. All right, we're back here live at Mitchell Stadium. It is first down of 10 G-Men with the football to the Beaver 42. There's a snap from center to Dudley to Banks. Banks on the carry. Uh, check that Ridley on the carry. Ridley up over the Beaver 40 to the Beaver 39. It will be second down. The stop was made by Jerry Simon. That's Simon. All the stop for the Bluefield Beavers. You know, I wonder. They're the, I guess they're the uh, state troopers are now, <laughs> Denny. Looks like no, they got everything under control. I think they got, no, they got Virginia down here. They got Bluefield, Virginia. They got uh, Bluefield, West Virginia. I see. Uh, here we go with the G-Men. Second down and seven. Dudley. Pitches back to Ridley around the right side. Ridley picks up maybe a yard, if that. Stopped by Gilpin and Isabel. Also in on the tackle, Shane Ellison. It's third down at seven. The ball rests at the Beaver 38-yard line. 2.47 remaining in the third quarter. And it's four to nothing. And we're talking football. G-men break from the huddle. The ball is resting at the 38-yard line of the Beavers. Boy, this has been a wild game. Hey, I'll tell you, it's been a heck of a game. I wouldn't miss this for the world, Jess. With the wife chowing down on uh, on a, a steak or something. Well, that's a little bit late for that, isn't it? It's 920. Nah. Third down at 7, G-men with the football at the 38-yard line of the Beavers. Dudley takes a snap. The game is to surface, plowing up the middle. And Britt gets it back to about the 35, 36-yard line where he's met by Raven Isbell. And it will be fourth down for the G-men. Looks like they're going to go for it. Buddy Gilpin also in on the stop. The ball now at the 36-yard line of the Beavers. Fourth down and four. 219 remaining in the third quarter. The score, four to nothing. Surface checks out of the football game. And Ridley will uh, fill the position. At Let's see, I think Ridley uh, is going to be playing fullback this time. And you got Brian Denham at right halfback, Danny. There's the snap from center. Denham breaking a hole. Looks like they held him. They sure did. The defense held up, Jeff. So the Beavers will take over first and 10 with the score of 4 to nothing. to G-Man on top. We'll pause for 30. No doubt about it, Seafair Restaurant has the best fast lunch specials around, and that's no exaggeration. Enjoy a bowl of soup, toss salad with hush puppies or toasted garlic bread, only $2.99. Fish sandwich with soup or fries and coleslaw, only $3.49. Seafood stuffed potato or cheddar cheese and broccoli stuffed potato with hush puppies or toasted garlic bread, $3.99. Plus different lunch specials every day of the week. All price low and served in 10 minutes or your lunch is free. When you think of lunch, think of Seafair Restaurant, Bluefield, Virginia. 
All right, it's first and ten Beavers from their own 34. Two wide receivers to the right, two wide receivers to the left. It looks like the run and shoot. They've got a man in the shotgun there, shotgun quarterback, and it is Peltz, or Belts is his name. He looks to throw, looking downfield. He's got a man open, overthrown, intended for Isabel. That one was intended for Isabel. It'll be uh, second down and ten. Ronnie Betts, Belts, Belts, Betts, Belts. Betts is the name. <laughs> B-E-T-T-S, yes. Betts, B-E-T-T-S, the quarterback. He was a shotgun. Boy, he has a good arm, Dan. He fires this thing, country mile. I'll tell you, that's going to open up the offense there. I mean, spread that defense. That's right. You know, Betts had uh, open field there when uh, he received that ball back there in the shotgun position, and that's what they're going to do, run and shoot again. 114 remaining third quarter. Jeeman on top, 4 to nothing. Betts. Box of signals from the shotgun run and shoot. There's a snap looking downfield. Got a man in the middle. Isabel, I believe he trapped it. They call it incomplete. They call a trap uh, on the coverage. Ryan King and Billy Banks. It'll be third down at 10 with 110 remaining third quarter. Beaver fans didn't like it. G-Men fans loved it. Checking out of the football game for the Graham High School G-Men. It's Todd Massey. Todd's played a good football game tonight. All right, here we go. Run and shoot again for the Bluefield Beavers. This is something new for them. Betts back at quarterback. In motion is Isabel running around to the right side. There's the snap. It's a high one. Betts looking downfield, looking to throw. It's overthrown. And it comes, it's intercepted. Intercepted that time by Brent Surface. And the G-Men will take over at midfield. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Don't finance for 60 months. Drive a new car or truck every three or four years from Ramey Chevrolet Oldsmobile, Route 460, Princeton. Pick a vehicle. Pick a payment. Ramey costs you less. And there's no down payment with approved credit. Save on 91 Chevys and 91 Oldsmobiles like never before. Open late with on-the-spot financing. See Ramey Chevrolet Oldsmobile, the automotive superstore, Route 460 in Princeton, and drive a new car every three or four years. All right, it's first and ten. There's a snap from center. Dudley looking way downfield uh, for Ryan King, and it is incomplete. That's incomplete. The ball on the 50. It'll be second down and ten now for the G-Men with about 57 ticks remaining in the third quarter. Well, well, both, well, both teams are airing it out right now, Kiss. This is a kind of a first for both of them, really, like at this point. Speaking of airing it out, folks, does your truck smell and you want a new one? <laughs> are you in the market for a new one because the truck is just absolutely rank? Well, I'm going to tell you where to go to get a new one in just a few minutes, if you'll bear with me. Second down of 10, midfield. G-Men with the football, the handoff to Billy Banks. He gains maybe a yard. You need to take your business to Cole Motor Company. Gilpin made the tackle. Now, the folks at Cole Motor Company going towards the Blue Well on Route 52 are the truck specialists in this area. That's uh, absolutely all that they sell is trucks. They don't sell cars. They sell trucks. They sell new and used trucks. If you're looking for a truck, whether it be new or used, make it Cole Motor Company. It makes sense. They're, they're truck specialists. When you're in the market for a truck, buy from the folks who really know their product. Cole Motor Company. Third down to nine G-Men from their own 49. There's the snap from center. They give us a surface. Breaks it to the outside. Surface is in Bluefield territory. And thrown out of bounds at the 38-yard line. It'll be enough for a first down. The tackle made by Raymond Isabel. That was a good foot race that time by Surface and Isabel. But Isabel caught him. He had the right angle, Kiss. Looks like we've got a beaver down. It looks yeah. like it's got a cramp, though, Kiss. Yeah, it does serious. look like we've got a beaver down on the field down there, uh, Danny. First down at 10, the ball at the beaver, 37, with 4, 3, 2, 1. And they get up. They're going to call it dead at the end of the third quarter. I don't know whether they got that playoff or not, Danny. I, I heard could, the whistle. I thought I heard a whistle, Kiss. That'd be blown dead. That is the end of the third quarter with a score. The G-Men four, the Beavers nothing. We're playing baseball tonight at a football stadium. And what a great time of year it is. A1 Welding Supply in Bluefield wishes the best of luck to all area high school football teams in the 91 season. Someone to break a long one, Kiss, and score something. Okay, G-Men with the football. It is at the Beaver 36-yard line. Second down and seven. 
Dudley gets to Banks, and there may have been a fumble. Not a believe so. Banks held on to it. But Banks went absolutely nowhere. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with this Beaver defense. They are swarming tonight, Kiss. They're excellent on defense at this point. Well, it's third down and nine, I believe. I guess at this point, I think the only way that Grams will be able to do anything is on the outside. they got to get on the outside. Not doing anything in the middle. Well, I know there's a bunch of fans over there that are saying, boy, we should throw the ball. Dudley bumps into somebody, pitches it back to surface. There'll be no gain on the play. As a matter of fact, there's a loss of two. Shane Ellison makes a stop, and the G-men look at fourth down. Freddie has done an excellent job this week, Kiss, on that option play there. They, their mechanics are perfect at this point. He most certainly has. Now, there was a little mix-up there in the backfield on the snap. Dudley ran into his own player, and then faded outside, pitched it back, and it was a little bit too late. They knew what was going on after the mix-up in the backfield. G-men look a little tired down there, Dan, the big guys. Well, this, this heat's got effective, guess. All right, back deep, I believe, is uh, Royals. Denham the kick, gets the snap off, and the kick is off the side of his foot. It goes out of bounds. Score is four to nothing here. And I tell you, this is one crazy football game. Yes, that, that kick there went just about to the line of scrimmage out of bounds. He was rushed there and just barely got that off and shanked it. It will be first down and 10 for the Beavers. They'll mark the ball at their own 35-yard line with 10.40 remaining in this football game that seems like a baseball game. Something's got to give here in a minute, Kiss. Someone's going to break a long one. See our good buddy Mark Haig down there from Telescripts Cable Company doing some filming of the Bluefield fans. All right, from the run and shoot once again, Betts is at quarterback. First and 10 Beavers, they're on 35. There's the snap from center. Betts on the run this time, on the keeper. He's got seven, eight yards, and he'll be tripped up and tackled in there by Brent Surface. At about the 39-yard line. Now, Brent Surface has made some key tackles tonight, Danny. And an interception, Kiss. And an interception. Second down and six. The ball is marked at the uh, Beaver 38-yard line. And we'll be under 10 minutes to play in this football game before the Beavers get this snap off. Run and shoot again, Kiss. Once again for the run and shoot, Betts is a quarterback. From the shotgun, shotgun run and shoot. There's a snap from center. Somebody jumped early. I thought they didn't call it. Betts looking downfield. He's got a man up and he's incomplete. Oh, Kiss, I tell you. That yep. was a catchable pass. That was uh, intended for Royals and uh, the coverage in there by Ryan King, but it was thrown behind Royals. That's the reason he didn't catch it, but he still got his hands on it. Right on the fingertips. I bet you Ryan King would have caught that. I would have say, say that he did. What happened? And Todd would have cut it, caught it if he'd got his sticky, hands on him. Sticky fingers king, right? That's right. That's right. And uh, boy, doing doing fine job down there at Emory and Henry. He's a good kid. Yes. Great kid. I just saw him the other day. Third down. He's got a nice looking girlfriend, too. Third down and six. The ball is at the Beaver 38. The Beaver's with the football. 9.50 remaining. Run and shoot again. Betts at quarterback. Takes the snap, looking to throw, looking downfield, across the middle, it's complete to Isabel. And he picks up the first down. A good catch that time, Kent. Picks up the first down, the coverage in there. Randy Belcher makes the stop. Randy hit him just as he caught it, Kent, but excellent pass. I tell you what, I'm impressed with this Betts guy. He can throw the football, Dan. Just like a bullet. Beavers with the football at the Graham 48-yard line. Check it, it's their own 48. Run and shoot again, first and 10. Nine and a half remaining in the football game. Cheeman on top, four zip. There's the snap. Looking downfield, he's got a man. It is incomplete. Intended for Isabel John Novinger in on the coverage. That's a little bit low, Kiss, right at his shoestrings there, and he fumbled it a little bit, and about that time he got a hit. The one thing that the G-men don't want to do right now is try and make that interception and possibly miss it and send a beaver down the field with no burgundy after him. We can't let him go deep, Kiss, that's for certain. Second down and 10. 
9.15 remaining in the football game. The ball rests at the Beaver 46-yard line. Run and shoot. Bets at quarterback. Crazy game. Isabel in motion to the right. Betts dropping back the throw. Looking downfield and he'll be stopped. Decided to keep it. Banks made the tackle along with Massey and, uh, let's see, Graham Thompson. Excellent. It'll be third down and 14 for the Beavers. Well, Cass, we need to hold them here. This is the normal passing situation. Boy, I tell you what, four to nothing. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? G-Men, four runs, three hits, no <laughs> errors. Here they go, third down and 14. Beavers need to pick this one up. It's getting late in this football game. There's the snap. Betts dropping back. There's a flag on the play. It's a little screen pass. Incomplete. Intended in there. Okay, we got a flag down there. I guess let's see what the call is going to be. Pass is intended to Willis Wilson in the flat. They hadn't thrown that one out of the run and shoot yet. It's a procedure penalty against Beaver. It will be incomplete, and the Beavers will have to punt the football, as the G-men, I'm sure, will decline the penalty. Surely they will. But let's wait and see. 8.25 remaining in the football game. I, and I wonder, I'm wondering what our, our, our cohort, Jim Nelson, is saying upstairs. I will bet you that's been interesting. I bet he's, I bet he's saying some words as long as my arm. <laughs> <laughs> G-Man fans going crazy over there on, the, uh, on their side of the football field. Is that the east or the west, Dan? Oh, that is to the uh, west side. It's the home away from home, isn't it? Yes, it sure is. No matter if we are home, we are on the opposite side. The home away from home. The score is four to nothing. Beavers to punt. Royals gets off another blaster. That one is completely going to go out of bounds. It's going to be taken by Banks, or rather Ridley. Ridley goes out of bounds at the 20. The G-Men take over. It's four to nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Get your children out of the house and get them active this fall in Mountaineer Bowling Lane's Youth Bowling League. Afraid they won't like it? This Saturday, August 31st and Saturday, September 7th from 9.30 till 12 noon, all kids bowl free during Mountaineer Lane's Youth Bowling League sign-up. Mountaineer Lane's even has bumper bowling for little kids. Guaranteed no gutter balls. Active kids are happy kids. For more information on Youth Bowling Leagues, come Mountaineer Lane's today. It's first and 10 G-men from their own 19. Dudley takes the snap, gives to the first man through, Banks, and he goes absolutely nowhere now. Stopped right in there, Kess, and uh, that, that middle line has been tough all night for the Beavers. Graham has got to get it outside somehow, some way, get it outside. I'll tell you what, Danny, this is uh, the area right now where you definitely want to hold on to that big skin. That's right, grind it out. Get a first, couple of first downs, then go for it. Second down and nine, wide receiver right. Dudley takes the snap, gives it to Stilder. Stilder with some running room. Stilder's got the first down and some all the way up to about the, let's see, 34-yard line. Now, Stilter but just blasted out of that backfield. Looked like a bullet. And that was a big first down for the Graham G-men, Dan. That's the, mo the most explosive run that, that Graham has had all night long, Kiss just exploded out there, like you said. As, as far as up the middle, now, that one around the end by Brent Surface a little while ago was real nice. First down and 10. Ball at the Graham 34. Dudley to Banks. Banks up the middle. Barreling out another first down. <laughs> G-Man looking tough. Big blocking. Big guys in the middle coming up. Willis Wilson makes the stop. That was Banks behind Austin and Denham. There is a, well, I don't believe it. The last, two, last couple couple downs, Cass, they've had a quick count. Right. And I think that's thrown Beaver off a little bit. There's an official timeout on the field. Having some trouble with the chain. I do believe the chain has come loose from the post. They're having to do a little bit of mechanical work over there on it. Man, I tell you, I hate it when that happens. Oh, I know. It makes it terrible. <laughs> it looks like we've got it fixed up now, though, Cass. All right, here come the G-men, first and 10. The ball at their own 46-yard line from the wishbone. Dudley takes a snap. 
They give it to Surface around the right side. Side stepping, dodging, and Surface has eight yards. G-Men looking real good on the ground now. It'll be second down and two. The stop that time made in there by Buddy Gilpin with 6.55 and ticking in the fourth quarter. G-Men ahead by four points. That's right, points. Four to nothing, not 24 to 20 like some folks expected, not 14 to 12 <laughs> like some folks expected, four to nothing. Second down two, ball to the Beaver 45. Wide receiver right, Dudley takes the snap on the keeper. Dudley with some running room, takes a side step and Dudley's got another first down and Dudley is to the 31 yard line. Fantastic run that time by Dudley, Kiss. That, sh that run right there shows the maturity of Dudley this year over last year. Now that was, uh, that I believe Danny, that was a broken play. He was to pitch out left and he, boy, he did a little. There's a timeout, Beaver. That was a little sidestep. That was a great little run. By Avenue, Bluefield, Virginia. Yeah. All right, we're back here live with G-Men on the move. First down is hit of the Beaver 32, 621 remaining in the football game. Dudley takes the snap, broken play, and he'll be thrown for a loss back to the 35-yard line. Buddy Gilpin makes a stop. It's the first night jitters, the first night mistakes. The ball rests at the Beaver 35-yard line. It is second down and 14 yards for a G-Men first down. From the wishbone, Dudley takes the snap, looks to throw, broken play again, Danny. Two in a row. Stop, stop that time, Buddy Gilpin. He's made a lot of tackles tonight for the Beavers. Been on, in on about every play, guess. Danny, is D.W. Purdue back in the football game, or is he still down on the sidelines? Well, let Number me see 52, here. I believe. Yeah, 57 or 52? 52. That's true. We'll find out. Third down and 15, G-Men. Dudley from the Beaver 36. Dudley gives to Novinger nowhere. I believe that's a, is that a 32 or an 82? That's, that's a 30, number 32 again, Cass. Gilpin on the stop again. So the G-Men now look at fourth down and 15, and I believe we're going to punt the football then. I do believe we will. Fourth down and 15, 450 and counting in the football game, and dropping back to punt will be Brian Denham. Brian's going to stand at about his own 48-49 yard line. Beavers have one lone back, stack line, at about the nine-yard line. There's a snap from center. It's a good one. And the kick is off. And it's a good one by Denham into the end zone. Denham got hit, and there didn't throw the flag. <laughs> I don't. And I don't believe it was a fake, do you? No, I don't. I believe he really fell after the hit. Remaining in the football game. And now the Beaver fans come to life. It is the, and he bets the quarterback, it's run and shoot. They're looking for the big play, obviously. Bats a quarterback with a man in motion to the left. There's a snap from center. Bats looking downfield, looking way downfield. Thieves it downfield, it's up, and it is incomplete. Broken up in there. By Randy Belcher, Ken. Randy Belcher makes a great play. That one was intended for a number 83 of the Beavers. Shane Elton. It is second down and 10. Boy, Danny, I see the lightning up here up over the hill. Back to the left. Heading toward Princeton. Brinketon. Second down and 10 for the Beavers. The ball rests at their own 20-yard line. 4-18 remaining. They operate from the shotgun. This could be their last chance here in the bottom of the eighth. Betts at quarterback. Takes the snap from center. It's a high one. Looking to throw. Looking way downfield. He's in a country mile. It is almost intercepted by Nominger. And a great play in there by Raymond Isabel to break it up. It will be third down and 10 for the Beavers. Well, there's one thing about it, Kiss. This offense right now is making it exciting for everyone. I tell you what, Danny, if the, if the G-Men do win tonight, you know, it's like, a, it's like you, you hit a ball down a fairway. 
uh, heading for the green, only it doesn't hit for the green. It goes for a tree. <laughs> it hits the tree and rolls on the green and rolls in the cup. You do it ugly, but you get it done. At this point, but anything can happen yet, kid. Oh, yeah. Four minutes to go. Uh, oh, yeah. In a I'm game not, like this. I'm just saying, you know, if, if, if. Third down and 10, Beavers from their own 20. 4-11, plenty of time remaining. Betts a quarterback from the run and shoot offense. The shotgun, there's a fumble! And Betts, Betts has recovered the football at about the 14-yard line of the Beavers. It'll be fourth down. So that one was a big blow to the Beavers' hopes of winning this football game. Yes, that football was snapped back and hit uh, uh, Wilson's helmet. Right. <laughs> hit him smack dab in the helmet. Beaver was lucky to get, recover that, that fumble. And you know, G-Man maybe it may have been lucky that uh, Wilson didn't 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 see the football and kind of intercept that snap and run it on up the field. All right, so uh, Royals is back to punt from his three-yard line, fourth down and 15, 3:30 remaining. Royals gets off another great kick. He is kicking great. Chasing Ridley back. Ridley's going to let this one roll. And it will roll dead at the Gman 25 yard on the score. Score four to nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. As always, Gene Thurmer and all the folks at Western Sizzlin Stadium Drive-In Bluefield are proud to be a part of Graham High School football. Best of luck to the G-Men and the Bluefield Beavers in the 1990. That's a 59 yard putt from scrimmage by Broyles. There's Dudley with a snap and he hands it off to uh, Ridley. Ridley goes absolutely nowhere. Second down and 10. He turned that to hot down there. It'll be second down and 12. Brown needs to get a couple of first downs here, Kiss, and, and uh, work on that clock a little bit. We'll so be under two and a half to play, Danny, when they get this play off. 241, 230, 237. The bugs are starting to come. It's still summer, you know. Second down at 12, G-Men, Dudley gives it. They can take it right up the middle for a couple of yards. Stop was made by Buddy Gilpin again, along with, I don't know who, I believe it was uh, Charlie Stiltner on the tackle, or rather on the carry, and Gilpin made the stop. Novinger checks in for the G-Men. Clock rolling now, two minutes, under two minutes to play in the football game. A big third down coming up here, Cass. Third and ten. And I'll tell you what, Danny, this ball game is still up for grabs. Definitely. Top of the ninth. G-Men with the ball. There's a snap from center. Fumble look like. No. No. Nope. Nope. Well, G-Men are going to have to punt it, that's for sure. There's a fumble. Well, there's a fumble. They're going to have Number 32 has recovered the ball for the Beavers. All right, buddy. Gilpin, so it's first down of 10 Beavers from the G-Men 26-yard line. A field goal will not win it. It'll just make it look even more like a baseball game. A touchdown will make it look like a baseball game, but a touchdown will absolutely shock the Graham High School G-Men. The defense is going to have to come to life now. This is the deepest that the Beavers have been in Graham territory all night, Danny. They'll still operate from that run and shoot. Across the middle has been what's worked for them. Now they're, they're running it, run and shoot. With, oh, there's somebody chopped there. That'll be a five-yard penalty against the Beavers. Procedure penalty, it will be first down at 15 with 1.15 remaining in the football game. They'll mark the ball back to the 31-yard line. A break for the G-Men. Dan, I'll tell you what. Do you think ESPN might be a little bit disappointed? <laughs> No way, not in this game. I tell you what, this is one of the best Graham Beaver games. I've maybe one of the best I've ever saw. Yeah. Ah, well, I don't know. I mean, being close. I've enjoyed the fact that it's been close, but it's been awful ugly. All right, here they go, run and shoot. Snap from center. Uh oh. They gave us to Isabel. Isabel chasing around the right side. Knocked up fumble. And they don't call it. They don't call it. It'll be at the, let's see, 25-yard line. 44 seconds remaining. Brent Surface makes the stop. 
I don't believe the Beavers have any timeouts. Now, now they're calling one. So, with a score, the G-Men four and the Beavers nothing. Let us pause for 60 seconds. We'll be full G-Men 25-yard line. They will operate from the run and shoot. Betts is in at quarterback. Barks the signals. Takes the snap from center. There's a flag on the play. Being chased is Betts. Throws it up for grabs into the end zone. It is complete, but there is a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play, and they're going to bring it back, I'm afraid. What a catch, Jeff, and what a game it this was. is. It was a great catch, but here it comes back. They're marching it back. Bring it back. Flag on the play. And it looks as if it's going to go against the Beavers because they're coming back this way, Danny. So, the G-men dodge a bullet here. There's 30 seconds, a half a minute remaining in this football game. It is a procedure penalty against the Beavers. Did the fans like it? <laughs> no. I did. I didn't. <laughs> That's right. Fair is fair. 50-50, right? There you go. I tell you what, I wouldn't like it either if it was against the against the G-men. I tell you what, I don't know what the G-men were doing that time on that pass, Dana. They just fell asleep. Second down and 14, 36 remaining. The ball at the Beaver 30 yard G-men 30 yard line. Betts dropping back to pass. Same thing. The ball is up in the air, and it's broken up. Touchdown! Touchdown, Touchdown Beaver! What a catch! The catch was made in there by the Beavers' Mike Lane. Lane is normally the quarterback. He made the catch. And the G-Men fans are absolutely silent, and the Beavers are going crazy. could happen. It's six to four in the bottom of the ninth. The grand slam by Mike Lane of the Bluefield Beavers. Beautiful catch. Two in a row. I don't, I, I really don't know, Dan. The, the defense on that thing, I just, what can you do? I mean, the guy made a fantastic catch, but the Chiefs just weren't knocking the football down. They were going for the interception instead of knocking the football down, Kent. What they were going for. Somebody, somebody maybe should have called a timeout. All right, now, the Beavers will go for one. Royal set the kick. There's a snap. It is a block. And the G-men uh, will uh, be... Uh, Facing an almost impossible task with 23 ticks remaining. The Beavers will be kicking off to the Graham High School G-Men. We'll pause for 30 seconds with the score. The Beavers 6, the G-Men 4. The goal of every nationwide agent has always been to provide the best possible auto insurance at the best possible cost. Today, more than ever before, you want to get the best value for your insurance dollar. That's why Nationwide is issuing this challenge. Call a Nationwide agent and compare your present auto policy with ours. You'll get the same kind of coverage, maybe even more. Just part of Nationwide's blanket protection for your family and business. Call your Nationwide agent today, Smokey Blaylock of Blaylock Insurance, 326-1461. All right, we're back here live. The Bluefield Beavers have shocked not only the Graham High School G-men and head coach Carlock, but the, the fans on the other side, Danny, are silent at this moment. And the ones over here on this side, the Bluefield Beavers, are absolutely ecstatic. Well, I'll take you. It's been two years for Beaver fans not to get excited, but tonight we, the Beaver pride is back, looks like. Well, they said it was going to be back. There's a lot of them said it was going to be back, and it, in fact, is right now, but there's still 23 ticks. You never know. It looks like Royals will probably be kicking a squiggler, I would think. But we'll see. Who knows? Never can tell. Never can tell. 23 seconds left. The G-Men can win this football game with a field goal. It's a squiggler. 
Picked up by Brian Denham around the left side. And Denham stripped up at the 40-yard line. There's a timeout. 21 seconds. Two seconds went off the clock. You see Brian. <laughs> he looked for a second there. He looked like he was going to go all the way. Just a second. He had a steamer rolling there. And here goes the clock now. Why do the G-men don't have any timeouts, I guess, Danny? Dudley at quarterback. Takes the snap from center, dropping back to pass, looking downfield, looking way downfield. It is almost intercepted. Incomplete. Two uh, Beavers ran into each other. Isabel. One play left, Kent. Three and seconds. Ronnie. Looks like the Beavers got this one, Dan. I'm happy for them. I mean, I, I, I want the G-Man to win, but let me tell you what. Too. You've got to give credit where credit's due tonight. Well, the Beaver has played one heck of a game. If they win, they beat us. That's right. And uh, the first one to tell you that would be head coach Glenn Carlock. That's right. Three seconds remaining in the football game. Dudley drops back to pass, looking downfield. It is incomplete. That's the game. In the game. The Beavers have upset the Graham High School G-Men. By a baseball score of six to four. It's the craziest game I've ever seen. <laughs> what a game, Ken. Who would have ever thought of it? I don't know, Dan, but I, you know, I tell you, is it, it, you know, it, it's been one of those things, you know, it started out kind of wild. Number one, you know, you got ESPN coming in here. Uh, number two, you got the G-Men who have won 25 of their last 27 games. It's Bluefield and Graham. You know, these two teams have gone at it for years and years and years. We've always said anything can happen between these two teams, and in fact, anything did happen tonight. Well, let me tell you, tonight Mr. proved it, yes. Tonight was one well of a game here, and it proved that anything can happen this game. Yeah, it did. Six to four, the final score. I'll tell you what, I, you know, probably a lot of folks had, had had a lot of money on this game and lost. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Lord. You, I know it. Last minute heroics by the guy, Mike Lane, the guy who normally plays at quarterback. The ball was thrown by Ronnie Best with 23 ticks remaining. And the Beavers have shocked the Graham High School G-Men. <laughs> what That's a game. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I really feel for the G-men, but I, you got to, you got to take your hats off to the Bluefield Beavers. They played an absolute whale of a ball game. I tell you what, yes, tonight I think they played up to 100% of their potential. The only thing that I didn't like about this game was the halftime and all of that extra added uh, uh, curricular activity that we had down here on the track. Final score, six to four, and it wasn't a baseball game. It was just. <laughs> The Beavers and the G-Men. <laughs> a wild wow. game. A wild and crazy close <laughs> to a wild and crazy week. The close of a week for uh, the kids and, and, the, and the, the two Bluefields. 